Developers new to core data very often don't take the time to learn what core data is. Not knowing what core data is makes it very hard to understand the ins and outs of the framework. I would like to spend a few minutes exploring the nature of core data and, more importantly, finding out what core data is and is not. Core data is a framework developed and maintained by Apple. It has been around for more than a decade and first made its appearance on macOS with the release of macOS Tiger in 2005. In 2009, the company made the framework available on iOS with the release of iOS 3. Core data is the M in MVC, the model layer of your application. Even though core data can persist data to disk, data persistence is an optional feature. Core data is first and foremost a framework for managing an object graph. You have probably heard and read about core data before watching this video. That means that you already know that Core Data is not a database and that it manages your application's object graph. Both statements are true, but what do they mean? Remember that Core Data is first and foremost an object graph manager. But what is an object graph? An object graph is nothing more than a collection of objects that are connected with one another. The Core Data Framework excels in managing complex object graphs. The Core Data Framework takes care of managing the life cycle of the objects in the object graph, it can optionally persist the data to disk, and it also offers a powerful interface for searching the object graph it manages. But Core Data is much more than that. The framework adds a number of compelling features, such as input validation, data model versioning, and change tracking. Even though core data is a perfect fit for a wide range of applications, not every application should use core data. If you are in need of a lightweight model layer, then core data should not be your first choice. There are many lightweight libraries that provide this functionality. If you are looking for a SQLite wrapper, then core data is also not what you need. For a lightweight performance SQLite wrapper, I highly recommend Gus Mueller's FMDB. This robust mature library provides an object-oriented interface for interacting with SQLite. Core Data is an excellent choice if you want a solution that manages the model layer of your application. Developers new to Core Data are often confused by the differences between SQLite and Core Data. If you wonder whether you need SQLite or Core Data, then you are asking the wrong question. Remember, Core Data is not a database. SQLite is a lightweight database that is incredibly performant and a good fit for mobile applications. Even though SQLite is advertised as a relational database, it is important to realize that the developer is in charge of maintaining the relationships between the records in the database. Core Data goes much further. It provides an abstraction that allows developers to interact with a model layer in an object-oriented manner. Every record you interact with is an object. Core Data is responsible for the integrity of the object graph, ensuring the object graph is kept up to date. Even though Core Data is a fantastic framework, there are several drawbacks. These drawbacks are directly related to the nature of Core Data. Core Data can only do its magic because it keeps the object graph it manages in memory. This means that it can only operate on records once they are in memory. This is very different from performing a SQL query on a database. If you want to delete thousands of records, for example, Core Data first needs to load each record into memory. It goes without saying that this results in performance issues if done incorrectly. Another important limitation is the threading model of Core Data. The framework expects to be run on a single thread. Fortunately, Core Data has evolved dramatically over the years, and the framework has put various solutions in place to make working with Core Data in a multi threaded environment much safer and much easier. For applications that need to manage a complex object graph, Core Data is a great fit. If you only need to store a handful of unrelated objects, 
then you may be better off with a lightweight solution or simply using the user defaults system.